My name is Alvin Roy and I'm a big bodybuilding fan. Can you ask this question for YouTube please? I'd love to know what Lee thinks about Phil Heath being unbeatable for the next few years as he said he wants to win 10 Olympias and who is the one that you can think that, that you think can stop Phil from dominating the Olympia as we saw this year as it was an easy victory against Sean Roden and Dexter Jackson. Thank you. Well, anyone can beat him if he comes in off. Anyone's beatable, but you know, if you missed your Olympia, you've got that foot in the door to begin with, so he can come in a little bit off and still win, but to say you want to win 10, that's good, but he's up to, what, number six now? He's got to do number seven, so he's still got to win another four, and then, like I said, you can't tell in this sport, training-wise, you can get injured. Supplement-wise, you can fuck yourself up with too many drugs. Just, you know, mentally wise, you might fucking burn out. So there's too many variables in the sport of bodybuilding to say that you're going to go on for another four years and dominate. So, like I said, he could tear his pec next week and then he's fucking finished or get a surgery, come back and might not be as good and not win. He can fucking take too many drugs and fuck up his kidney or liver or something can happen. So, like I said, you can only hope he does the best year after year and hope he achieves what he wants to achieve. But bodybuilding's a sport where your conditioning can change in a day, overnight. So to think fucking four years down the road, that's a good fucking call. So best of luck to him. But like I said, just take shit day by day and see what happens. Take each contest year by year and start planning ahead. It's nice to think that, but like I said, in all reality, anything can fucking happen. You can get killed in a car going to the gym. You can get run over running around the fucking hills in Colorado like I see him running down the fucking road like a fucking graceful gazelle. <laughs> so you get hit by the car. So anything can happen. So. I don't know. I, I don't think he did a lot of running, judging by he didn't that. Did see um, running? He looked like he was graceful, wasn't he? It's like a fucking gazelle running through the Alps. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, no, so, like I said, I wish him the best of luck, and it's good to think that, but in this sport, anything can happen, so just take it day by day, year by year, so he could be going to a promotion overseas and his plane crashes, so then that ruins his chances. They're going to win the Olympia, so. Too many things to happen to say he's going to win 10. Just take it as they come. And who do you, like, is there anyone that you think... Um... No, really, like I said, it depends on what condition anyone comes in. It's bodybuilding. He could come in off. And someone could come in that much better and beat him. So, you know, like I said, you can't say this person wouldn't do any good because there's a lot of times you think, well, this guy's not going to do any good. Then all of a sudden the guy turns up in the best shape ever and you're like, holy fuck, and he ends up winning or beating all these yeah. other guys. So... That's bodybuilding. Until the day of the show, you don't know what's going to happen. You see guys who look out of shape, the day of the show look great. You see guys looking great, the day of the show they look shit. So you can't tell. The only one who knows are the judges.